everyone. It's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. Today is Halloween. So I am dressed up in my costume. And for those of you who don't already know by looking, I am Joyce, the mom from Stranger Things. If that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry about it. She looks like a mom. These Christmas lights are important to the story, but I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Anyway, this is my very first Facebook Live in my brand new office. And I'm so excited to get to do this for you. There are still lots of boxes behind me, as you can see. But I have been able to create some cards. I even had the opportunity to get all of, it would have been last month, September's Paper Pumpkin Tree Boxes ready to give out to trick-or-treaters. And I don't know how many trick-or-treaters we had, but all 20 of my tree boxes were gone, plus most of the rest of the candy we had. So I want to take a minute to make a card with you tonight. I know this is kind of not exactly what you were expecting. This is a Thursday. We are in gathering thanks month. Is that what it's called? Let me look. Gathering together. And this is the fifth Thursday of the month. Well, what we are doing tonight, I will be doing, and it will be on my blog with the Gathering Together set within the next few days. And also, my um, anyone who comes to my in-person class this weekend will get a chance to make this as well. But since it's Halloween, I thought we would just work together with the set that I did not get to play with this month, which is Boo to You. We are going to make a waterfall card using the Boo to You stamp set. I hope you love it and just imagine it with the Gathering Together stamp set because I will be making that card later this week as well. But there are some great things coming up starting tomorrow that I want to talk to you about. And so I'm going to flip you down because you're going to need to see some things on my desk. Now, I've never seen what exactly you can see when I try to get my camera adjusted. Well, we're going to try this and hope it works. And I'm going to turn this light on. And hope it gives the amount of light that I need. I don't have the lighting all figured out in here yet. I'm looking. I'll catch if it's something heavy on my stand or else my light is going to pull it over. Let's see, that seems to be working. Let's see if I can raise this up just a smidge. Sorry that you're watching all of my technical 
figuring this out. And I can't tell if that lighting is working out well or not. But I'm going to put the stamp here. Maybe move this back a little bit. I don't know. Okay. One of the things that is going to be available tomorrow is the Christmas is here sweet. This is the stamp set and I'm very excited to play with it. I have a card that needs one more thing and then it will be ready to go on my blog showcasing some of what this Christmas Rose stamp set has to offer. There are thin lists available as well, but I do not have those. I have the stamp set. I haven't pulled the DSP out to show you, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And there are... There is some gold shimmer ribbon. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is. And there are also some gold shimmer dots. And there's a bracelet that goes with the suite. There are um, thin lids, frame, I mean, dies, sorry. There are dies available. And you can buy the entire suite. You can buy just the pieces that you would like. Or you can um, buy the bundle. I'm going to see. Yes, I do have it right here ready to go. Here is some of the designer series paper. There are four different designs, three sheets each of four different designs, I think. We'll find out as I pull them out. No, it's um, four sheets of three different designs and here they are there's the one page front and the back you'll see there are pine cones there's a cute little pine cone stamp in the stamp set uh, it has some gold shimmer to this paper it's absolutely gorgeous so that becomes available tomorrow as well. And the other thing that becomes available tomorrow is the new paper trimmer. You may be wondering what's the big deal. It looks pretty much the same. Well, it kept all of the things that I at least loved about the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer previously. But what I've noticed so far that I'm very excited about is the trimmer has both the measurements for inches and for centimeters. I don't know about you, but occasionally I will listen to a video or see a tutorial from someone from another country, and they talk about measurements in centimeters, and I'm not quite sure how to 
change that to inches. Well, now it has both the centimeters and the inches right in front of me. And you can extend the arm out to a full 17 inches. And right here is the six inch mark. So if you're cutting your 12 by 12 paper in half, it's right here and you can get to it without extending the arm. Also, I have noticed that the blades are larger and has more cutting surface and a much larger I just lost the word. What do I do with the paper? Scoring. It has a much larger scoring blade. And we are going to go ahead and finish cutting the white paper that I need for the card today. So, I need a white strip. We'll cut that one first because I'm going to have to pull this out and get my paper over to nine. So, there's nine. And it needs to be nine by one and seven eighths. I did listen to a lot of tutorials on waterfall cards, which is what we're making today. But the measurements of the video I finally decided to go with comes from Don Griffith. So these are her measurements. All right. So we now we have that. And then I need four cards that are one and four little squares that are one and three-fourths by one and three-fourths. I have not tried to see how many different page sheets of cardstock or DSP you can cut at one time, but I have heard that some have tried and gotten up to five sheets at a time. Stamping and putting the card together. for a minute. I'm going to need it when we score here in a little bit. Actually, I'm going to score first so I can put the trimmer away. So we are going to take our strip of whisper white that is 9 inches by 1 and 7 eighths and we're going to score at 2 inches 
and three and a half. And four and a quarter. And then I'm going to put my trimmer away. And we are going to um, just fold these. I'm not sure which way I need to fold. I should have paid closer attention earlier, but I will just get my stamps out and we are going to do the stamping. I have not even gotten these stamps ready with their clings, and so we're just going to um, attach them to the blocks without their cling for now. be stamping my monsters in black and then later off camera I will be finishing up coloring them in probably using watercolor pencils. I'll clean it off later. While I have this one, I'm just going to shoot. God, of course I did. Got black ink on my white strip. But this bottom is where we're going to stamp. Um, you know what? I am losing my mind. I'm going to stamp sentiments there. It's been a long day. But I wanted to do this for you guys on Halloween. And on the last one, I'm putting a little boo. But I think for that one, I will be using the Gorgeous Grape. Corner, and I'm 
curious if the other stamp from this stamp set will fit. Yes, I think it will. So we're just going to have just a little creepy and boo to you both on the same card. And then on the strip that we are going to be using to pull I think I needed another score line right there in the middle, so I just am doing it with my fingers. to do some playing with that mechanism and get it all figured out before I have the final video on my post. Alright. So I'm going to stamp Wishing you a delightfully haunted night. And celebrate if you dare. Okay. I don't want to steer you wrong on anything, so I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to go figure out the exact way I want everything needs to be, and then we'll come back and put this whole thing together. See you after a bit.